What's the deal? This your boy, Mr. Good Buzz. And we got the new merch out, boy. We got the Trico merch. And we got that new merch, boy. Fire up. Man, fire that shit up, man. That's my mans. We got the backwood on the shirt, man. Man, we got hoodies, man. We got shirts. We got cups. We got mugs. Cell phone cases, man. The link is in the description down below. So if you're trying to fuck with your brother and get some of this merch, man, fuck with me. We even got different colors, man. Everything. Let's get it. Are you listening? Damn. Welcome back to the channel. This your boy, Mr. Uh, Good Buds. And we back in the building with yeah. that photo booth, baby. Let's get it. Uh, Subscribe real quick. You feel me? Yeah. Today we're going to be checking out Tricon. So let's let's take a look and see what the OG yeah. baby's looking like. But make sure you hit up the Patreon. Uh, you subscribe to the channel and all that. All right, so we on Flower Day 36. And this is when the girls are supposed to be ready, but they definitely not ready. So we're going to go another, about another four more weeks. You feel me? This was supposed to be the last week, but this ain't about to be no six week strain. So. But they looking good, though. I mean, we're going to check the tricons today. So that would have told us, well, not today, but in this week. But we're going to find out when it's time to let these girls go ahead and start flushing themselves out. Now, OG Kush number two, the one that got cloned, been my trouble girl the whole damn time. So she having problems still. But you know what we got to do, right? We're just going to have to keep up with her, you feel me? But still getting dense. OG number one ain't having no trouble out of her. But growth is still even across both plants, though. So I ain't tripping, you feel me? But you can tell how OG Kush number two just a, a little lighter. And her leaves don't point up. They kind of point down a little bit. But it smell good, though. You feel me? I'm talking about y'all know how the Kush smell. This is OG. The gangster Kush. This is that real shit. This shit smell like that shit you first heard of when you was, when you was back in high school. If you my age, you feel me? That real Kush. You know, and it got that kind of that sour apple type of, that weird type of sour smell at the end, but that real skunk beginning smell, you feel me? That shit lit. Uh. Yeah. Spider Farmer doing good uh. though, you feel me? Day 38. And now, like I said, the dry amendments is great. Dry amendments carry OG number one the whole damn time. So we really, we, we took clones of OG Kush number two. So I'm going to say she a heavy feeder, a fast grower. I'm willing to bet that this pot is very stuffed and she used up all the nutrients in the medium. So basically anything that I feed her is going straight into them leaves and she eating on them leaves. So you just going to have to keep feeding her. You feel me? I also feed OG Kush number one the same, the same amount of shit, so it worked out both ways, you feel me? But it's beautiful though. And the pistol hair is starting to turn brown. We getting close. And they so frosty. I mean, this these are the frostiest plants I've grown so far. Hands down. The most trichome coverage on the plant. That shit don't even look right. I can't wait till it get to the end, you feel me? Shit gonna be nasty. This is the type of plant that you could press dabs with. And you gonna get over 20% returns on it. I may press some of it. It depends on how much I get. I'm not a huge dab fan, but I ain't been doing dabs like that. You feel me? I'm always smoking that flower. 
But the SF2000 is definitely holding it down, you feel me? Make sure you get it in the link in the description. Day 40. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I think these gonna be the best plants grown so far. So I'm gonna re I'm gonna re I'm gonna release an extremely detailed feeding schedule on Patreon, uh, so that y'all know exactly what I did for the auto booth. And then because I perfected that shit right there, so if you're trying to use Roots Organic, I'm gonna I'm gonna release that for Patreon. But if you're trying to check it out, go ahead and check it out. But uh, once I perfect this this dry nutrients, I'm gonna do the same thing. And I think we close with it. I got a pretty good idea what the fuck to do. As you can see, some of the OG Kushley is still pointing down. But those old ass fan leaves though, we gonna probably take those off before the end of the grow anyway. I think this is my favorite bud right here. I did post a picture of this bud in uh and week eight. I think it was week eight or nine on Instagram. It was pretty as fuck. Wait till you see how these girls finish out. If y'all wanna see current pictures in progress, make sure y'all follow me on the ground. And next week, y'all, we're gonna be doing some huge shit, man. We got another sponsor. I ain't gonna tell y'all who it is right now, but we're gonna be doing the giveaway, you feel me? So everybody make sure you tune in to the next video. That's gonna replace the Auto Boost series for right now. But of course we're gonna bring the Auto Boost series back after this series is over. Day 42. So it's pretty much smooth sailing, like I said. I could really the bud structure and the and the terpene profile is beautiful right now already. I really feel like I could just let these girls finish out how they are. But just so we can get the most out of it, we're gonna feed them one more time before it's time to flush, you feel me? Just to make sure they got what they need. And yes, hands down. This is so far as far as the the trichomes and the smell, definitely the best growth so far. Third time's the charm. You feel me? Each grow better than the last, man. So when your first grow don't come out the way you expected, like mine's did, even though a lot of y'all liked it, it was alright for me. But keep at it, man. Keep going, man, because you're gonna perfect that shit. Practice makes perfect. You're gonna learn what the plants need. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna start knowing it like like night and day. Nutrient deficiencies, I know them bitches as soon as I see them. You're gonna know what you're doing to the plant. You're gonna know what the plant has gotten. You're gonna know what's plausible, what could possibly be happening. All that shit is gonna start clicking with you, you feel me? Look at OG Kush number two just getting yellow as hell. Too damn early. All right, so day 43, man. OGs need some help. Yes, sir. So we're going to go ahead and get these girls one last feed because I don't feel like they're going to make it. OG Kush number one will, but OG Kush number two may not. I don't want it to suffer in no type of way as far as yield loss like critical mass number one did. So we're going to go ahead and hit it up with a heavy ass feed. And I'm talking about heavy. It's gonna be the last one, man. So we're gonna make it heavy. We're gonna make it thick. So basically, I don't show y'all what I did, but basically I gave them the rest of the roots organic shit that I had as much as I had of the flower shit. So they got like 10 milliliters of like three different flower nutrients that I had left as much as I could give them. Plus molasses, plus recharge. I wanted to make sure they were straight. 
Because top dressing them was not gonna help. If don't don't top dress these. When you're doing dry nutrients, you ain't gonna be able to get the nutrients to the girls within this amount of time. And then the flush is gonna is not gonna work out. Cause by the time those nutrients start breaking down, the plants is gonna should be flushing by then. So when you give it to them, they're not gonna uptake those nutrients yet. They take like a week, sometimes longer, depending on how you water. So let's go ahead and get the girls this thick ass milkshake. Hey, why that? Re a couple questions I had to ask somebody who know. Recharge. Why does it? Why does it go into the soil so fucking slow? That shit take forever to seep down into the soil. Day forty six. Let's check out the trichomes. And I'm saying that because when I give them plain water, though, plain water go right in. When I give them plain nutrients, nutrients go right in. But when you put recharge in it, that shit sink into the soil real slow. Like, it's like it gets sticky and it don't want to go in. That shit weird. But it definitely helps a lot, though. And so from this point, we believe the girls should be ready to start flushing. So they're not going to get nothing else. The dry nutrients in the soil should be about gone. Uh, for both plants, as you can see on OG Kush number one, she is starting to fade as well. Uh, OG Kush number two well into the fade. So we're going to check out the trichomes. Well, what we're looking for is 100% cloudiness and maybe like 5% uh, amber trichomes. Like I like to start the flush when we just start to see the amber trichomes popping up all over the plant and make sure you check the buds not the leaves the leaves be having amber trichomes all over them bitches for some reason and as you can see look at that look how crystally it is how frosty that is it's definitely gonna be it's definitely ready like remember what i was telling y'all you can pretty much tell like when the trichomes is on the plant when they cloudy it look really, really milky and frosty on the plant. Like it look, it looks shiny. Like, like you can tell it's like a white shine to them. A white frostiness. When they're not ready, it, the trichomes kind of look clear. You got to kind of look harder to see them up close with your bare eyes. But you can clearly see the, the, the ready trichomes. But just to be sure, we're going to pull out the jeweler's loop. Sorry about this footage, but my USB uh, microphone uh, microscope broke on the nigga. So yeah, definitely cloudy. And I see maybe one or two amber trichomes here and there. So, and this is a few days. This is like four days before the flesh even starts. So, and then they're gonna go their last two weeks. So they they ready. Look at that. It looked like snow. It looked like winter morning. When the sun come up and it's snowing outside. And I'm gonna give him some plain water and this is gonna initiate the flush. Not really, I'm just not gonna feed him shit else after this. Plain water. Day 48. And look at look at OG Kush number two. She's definitely fading. But I'm not cutting nothing down early or nothing like that. They're going to get cut at the same time. This shit's so loud, man. I'm hoping we, we get at least eight ounces, maybe. Eight ounces, y'all. Real frosty. And we getting a nice fade on all the girls. So you can see that they, even OG Kush number two is starting to get a lot of uh, yellow. So they basically gonna flush for a little longer than two weeks cause it's already started. 
And let's hope that the nutrients that we gave OG Kush number two was enough to to get him through the get him to the finish line. Man, and I appreciate all the patrons. Right now, when I'm recording this voiceover, we got 10 patrons, man. I appreciate y'all, man, for real. Y'all gonna help me continue doing this because YouTube is not gonna pay a nigga for no weed channel, you feel me? So, y'all really helping a brother out with that, for real. We got some good stuff coming to YouTube and the Patreon. Um, great content coming. We gonna keep it going, man. We got new Auto Boost series coming. For the YouTube, we got a new photo booth series coming next week. Make sure y'all fuck with it, man. And we got some special series going on on uh, Patreon as well. Day 49. And after this, we're going to send the girls on their way. So yeah, just to clarify, when we do organics, I do not flush the medium with any type of nutrient, I mean, any type of plain water, dumping it in the, in the pot, letting it spill out all in the tent. I don't do none of that stuff. All I do is make sure I feed them just enough so that they run out of nutrients by the time it's over and then they just get plain water from that point on. And during those last two weeks, they will consume all the nutrients that's left in the leaves and that's exactly what the plants will go through naturally outside and when everything is going on like mother nature intended it to be you will start to get beautiful fall colors if y'all don't follow me on the gram make sure y'all check it out beautiful fall colors we talking about reds blues golds oranges the og cushions did beautiful I don't know when you use synthetic nutrients, do it work like that? But when you're using organic nutrients and you know what you done did and the plants is thanking you for it and you get that clean white smoke when you're done, you know you did the damn thing. You feel me? And let's close out the video with some water. Man, I appreciate y'all joining me once again. Mr. Good Buzz in the building, man. Make sure y'all like this video, y'all. Comment down below. Y'all sub to the channel. And if you haven't already, check out the gram and the Patreon, man, with the Discord, man. Discord Patreon members get special Discord roles. So make sure y'all check that out, man. Holla at me.